What's going on you guys? Today, today I'm going to be showing you guys some cool exercises. So, most of you guys might have access to only one dumbbell. So, one dumbbell. Today we're going to be doing a single dumbbell workout for our bicep. If you want me to do more videos like this one, I would like to know down in the comment section. You know what? Let's get started with this right here, man. Let's get to, let's get to work with this. Okay, here we go. First workout, single bicep curls. Four sets, eight reps per arm. Okay, here's your first tip. If you have a lightweight dumbbell, you wanna do more reps with this one. But if you have a heavyweight dumbbell, then you wanna do less reps. So go for about six to eight. Here's some more tips for you guys. This targets your entire biceps for overall growth. So it's great for, you know, building size in your entire biceps. Another thing that's super important is that you want to make sure to let the weight all the way down before curling back up. So all the way down before you curl back up. That's very important right there, y'all. For the final three tips for this exercise, you want to curl the weight up without swinging your body. And you want to make sure you're curling all the way up as well as doing it slowly. Really slowly, that's important y'all. So next up here, we've got single hammer curls. Four sets, eight reps each arm. Here's your first tip. If you have a lightweight dumbbell, you wanna do more repetitions. So 12 to 15 reps. And if you have a heavyweight dumbbell, then go for less reps, about six to eight reps. Your next tip. You want to use a hammer grip for this curl and you want to fully curl the dumbbell up and down to respect the full range of motion. So full range of motion is important for this one. Up, down, up and down the entire way through. Okay, here's another one. You want to keep your elbows from flaring and maintain the same starting position throughout the entire exercise. So throughout the entire thing, you want to make sure your elbow is not, you know, dancing all over the place. You want to kind of keep it in the same spot as you can see in the video right there. Some more tips for you guys. This one is great for targeting the outer region of your biceps and your forearms. So I love hammer curls for that reason. Our first hybrid single in and out curls four sets eight repetitions per arm first tip for you guys this is a hybrid workout which just means each rep is a combination of each exercise to make one rep so use a lightweight dumbbell for this one as well Okay, here's another one. You wanna maintain the same position for each workout in the hybrid workout. This targets your inner and your outer bicep as well. So it targets the inner, inner part of your bicep and the outer part of your bicep. Okay, here's some more tips. You want to lower the weight all the way down for each exercise before switching to the other one. So all the way down before you move from you know A to B. So you watch, you watch and see right there. The next tip I'll tell you guys about is making sure you're curling until you feel your biceps squeezed and all the way back down. Next up here, we've got some double grip hammer curls, four sets, eight to ten reps this one's a powerhouse move so make sure you got a dumbbell that's big for this one here's a tip for you guys you want a heavyweight dumbbell like i said if you only have a lightweight dumbbell then increase the reps so 12 to 15 reps is still adequate okay here's my second tip for y'all so you want to extend your arms all the way down before explosively curling back up this is also great for targeting your inner biceps
so I got some more tips for you guys. Maintain the same elbow position throughout the entire, you know, exercise. You cannot move your elbows all over the place. It got to be at the same point. You got to keep it right there. And then you curl it up. You curl that weight up. Okay, let's do some negatives. So four sets, six to eight reps per arm. This one's fun, but it can it can be painful. So, you know, brace for this. For the first tip for this exercise, you want to use a moderate weight dumbbell for this. You know, somewhere around 45 pounds. But if you have, you know, only lightweight dumbbells, you can go ahead and do about 12 to 15 reps. So more repetitions. You can even go to 20 if you're feeling, you know, like doing that. Next tips, bring the weight all the way up before slowly letting it down. So counting your head about three to five seconds. Okay, final tips for this one right here. You should know that this is great for emphasizing growth in the biceps. So if you really wanna grow your biceps, then time under tension is super important. Make sure you keep your elbows tucked to your sides as well and not flaring all over the place. Okay, so we've got another hybrid here. So we've got some Hammer X bicep curls, four sets, eight reps per arm. Okay, for the first tip for this one, this is a hybrid workout which just means that each rep is a combination of each exercise to make one rep. So you also want to make sure you're doing this with you know moderate weight, whatever you consider that to be. Some more tips for you. Make sure your elbow is tucked to your side. So along your side you want to tuck them and lower the weights down completely and then back up until you feel a squeeze in your biceps. So you have to feel that squeeze before you let, let it you know calm all the way down. This hybrid is a powerhouse because it helps you in building your inner and your outer bicep as well as your forearms because it combines hammer and regular bicep curls which is, you know, awesome. It's great. Okay, we've got one of my favorite workouts. Concentration curls. Four sets, eight reps per arm. This one is awesome for, for the biceps. I'm telling you right now. Okay, for our first tips for this one, it's great for isolating the bicep for growth. So it, you also want to use a lightweight dumbbell and then work your way up. So what you what you consider light, you start there, you know, until you feel comfortable and you build your way up as you know you get stronger. Here's some tips for you guys. You want to rest your elbow on your thigh and make sure it remains in the same place the entire time. No moving. Your thigh has to be at the same spot, you know. For the final tips for this workout, you want to curl until you feel a squeeze in your bicep muscle as well as maintain the same position with your body and your arm throughout the entire routine. So you can't be moving all over the place. You got to be at the same spot to emphasize that bicep muscle. But that's it. So there you guys go. There's a workout you can do if you are if you have access to only one dumbbell. Let me know down in the comment section. I said this at the start of the video, but let me know down in the comment section if you want me to do a whole series on this, you know? For your back, for your chest, all that stuff right there. I will do that. But this one's for your biceps, because you know everyone needs a bulging bicep. <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing around, man. If you don't want a bulging bicep, you don't need to do that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you enjoy this video and want to see some more like it, you know, some more dumbbell workouts, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now. And I'll catch y'all in my next video. It's your boy Midas, and I'm out, y'all. <laughs>